the Norwegian princess who ditched her privileges to marry an American shaman. In 2022, Martha Louise lost her title of Her Highness. The reason she chose to work as a clairvoyant, she relinquished her royal duties. Then she went and married an American shaman. This has caused quite a stir in Norway. After all, Martha is the king and queen's only daughter. But wait till you hear about her beliefs. Martha Louise's parents are King Harold V and Queen Sonia. The princess is fourth in the line of succession to the throne. She's actually a certified physiotherapist, but she has never practiced her profession. Instead, she chose a more esoteric occupation. Martha Louise claims she can speak to angels. She can also talk to animals and understand their replies. In 2007, the princess opened an alternative therapy center. It was called a Starte Education Soul Spring, but nobody called it that. Everyone in Norway simply called it Angel School. It was a school for healers and clairvoyants. The center hosted lectures by people such as Lisa Williams. She's the American psychic who talks to the dead. At the time, Martha Louise was married to author Ari Ben. They were raising three daughters, but for some reason, Ben divorced Martha in 2016. Three years later, the 47-year-old author killed himself. He had been struggling with depression and alcoholism. Meanwhile, Martha Louise established an entertainment business. She appeared on TV, singing folk songs and reciting tales. The princess sang in famous Norwegian choirs. She published several children's books. Six months before her ex-husband's death, she shocked the nation. Martha Louise announced she was engaged. Her fiancé was an African-American man named Derek Verrett. Verrett describes himself as sixth-generation shaman. He claims to be a reincarnated pharaoh from Egypt. He calls himself a hybrid species of reptilian and Andromedan. He claims to have foretold the 9-11 attacks in 1999. He believes children only get cancer because they want it. He doesn't believe in chemotherapy. On his website, Verrett describes himself as a visionary for the now age. He says his work has influenced Gwyneth Paltrow and Nina Dobrev. Verrett's various claims stirred up quite a controversy in Norway. The healthcare minister called him an unscrupulous and dangerous charlatan. The former prime minister called him a conspiracy theorist. In response, Verrett accused his critics of racism. People don't want a black man in the royal family. He said, I have never experienced so much racism as when I came to Norway. Verrett also compared himself to Einstein, Edison, and Helen Keller. However, the royal family actually welcomed him. King Harold said he was a great guy and very funny to be with. The public, though, was not as thrilled. Martha and Derek held a series of seminars titled The Princess and the Shaman. This must have been the last straw. The Norwegians accused Martha Louise of exploiting her status. The media said she was commercializing and abusing her title. Her approval rating dropped to a record low of 13%. In the end, the princess relinquished her royal duties. She will not represent the royal family. However, the king insisted she keep her title. So Martha Louise is still a princess, but not her royal highness. She's still in the line of succession. She still hasn't married the shaman. The wedding has been postponed due to Verrett's illness. The shaman healer has kidney disease. He has to go to LA for dialysis.